This is the RF spectrum that we uh, recorded outside uh, Mike's house uh, out in his yard using the portable flag with the DX Engineering preamp and uh, this SDR receiver. And uh, this is the signal that is causing the RFI uh, or the telltale signal that uh, Mike sees using his uh, beam at 160 feet uh, pointed north. And uh, the portable flag also indicated that this signal was originating from the north. And down here in the waterfall display, you can see the, uh, the green trace, and that is repeating every 78 kilohertz. This is our recording from when we were standing across the street from the home we tracked the RFI down to. We're about 115 feet from the home. And uh, this is the frequency here, uh, 21.018, that we use for our tracking purposes. And you can see that pattern repeats actually repeats at intervals of about 78 kilohertz. And in between, uh, right in between, is this other uh, less pronounced pattern. So the space in between the less pronounced pattern and the main pattern is uh, 39 kilohertz, which is just half of the 78 kilohertz spacing we said we saw between the primary uh, sources uh, or peaks that we're tracking down. And you'll see down in the audio spectrum, the demodulate audio spectrum, very little the telltale signs of anything, except there might be some stuff at 100, 200, 300, and 400 hertz. Mike also mentioned that his noise floor on 10 meters also rises when he's uh, beaming to the north the same direction. So uh, we took a quick look while we we're sitting in, across the street from the uh, house we tracked the RFI down to on uh, 10 meters, and this is what we saw. And looking here, uh, it looks like the uh, signal is repeating every 39 kilohertz, so not much difference between um, the signal spaced 78 kilohertz versus uh, the signal in between.